Okay, so we're out in the car now, getting ready to do some war driving. For those of you who aren't sure what war driving is, it's the act of taking out a laptop with a wireless access card in it and driving around the neighborhood looking for wireless access points. Right, now we already have NetStumbler fired up. NetStumbler is the software that we like to use to look for those access points. And just sitting here before you've even moved, um, we found 15 access points that are unsecured. Of course, uh, NetStumbler will also show us which are the secured access points and which are the unsecured. Uh, just for the purpose of today's demonstration, we're just looking at the unsecured access points. And we'll be doing this to show the end user how important it is to have wireless security and we'll later on we'll actually go into one and see how quickly you could accidentally go into one. It's often a problem in places such as condos and apartments where people are leeching off of each other's network accidentally of course. Right. Well, we, we want to make sure that, uh, that our customers uh, have a secured access point so that way no one either intentionally or accidentally gets on their network. And if you're not sure if your network is secure, there's a good chance that it's not secure because by default, all networking devices come unsecure and that's something you add later. So right now we're looking at that Stumbler and we have about 16 or so now on secure wireless networks and that Stumbler interfaces with our GPS device. This is a simple USB GPS receiver. You plug it in, it starts working with Windows and that Stumbler will interface with it and show you the latitude and longitude approximation of where these wireless access points are. So you can plug this into something like Google Earth or any kind of GPS device program and they'll tell you the right on the location where you're looking at and it tells you also the distance and feet how, where you are from it. So now we're going to pull up and try to access one of these access points. So well, I see one right here uh, that's got a pretty strong signal. As you can see NetStumbler will actually give us uh, a good indication, a graphic interface uh, of the signal, of the signal strength. And once we find one that's uh, that's strong enough, we'll go ahead and uh, pause NetStumbler and open up the built-in Windows uh, networking. This is a good demonstration of what might accidentally happen because right now we're just turning off all our special features and going what everyone, most every person's laptop normally does, and that's just you flip a switch, the wireless turns on, and you're suddenly connected and you're suddenly connecting to a wireless network. Well, I just I just heard the indication telling us that we are in fact on uh, on a wireless network. Now this is one that we just drove around and found. Uh, let's see whether or not we can really get online. All right, well there, there we go. I know that uh, if we're able to go out to Google, go out to our website, pretty good indication that, that we've now uh, leached onto some open network and we're able to uh, able to use the internet. Let's go into some further demonstration by logging into the router and showing some of the further implications of it. what could happen if we were had malicious intent or something of that nature. So we're going to go in, use a command console, look at IP config. That's a very simple interface. Most computers by default will show you the IP. And we can see here that we picked up, this is the IP address of the, of the router that we're actually connected to. So we're going to take that IP address, type it in here to our address bar. Of course, you can use uh, any web browser to do this. Of course, we like Firefox. So let's go ahead and get in here. Now, the, uh, the SSID of this particular uh, router is one that makes me believe that the username and password is, uh, is admin and admin. Something and, like uh, an SSID of Linksys. That's a pretty good indication that your, your username and password is admin, admin. And as you can see right here, uh, we've just accessed this person's uh, Linksys router. Um, obviously, it's wide open. It's unsecure. Uh, we're not going to go any further here. We're not going to go into their computers, but we could see uh, using uh, some of the interface of their router. Um, well, here's our laptop on their network, and here are three other computers that are probably in that house right now. Yeah, they're on and being operated right now, right. so there's chances are they may have further loopholes where we can go in and infiltrate those computers. We're not gonna we're not gonna do uh, go into that right now. Obviously, uh, this was really easy to get into this one. It took us about uh, about 20 seconds, 30 seconds to get into uh, into this uh, unsecured wireless network, which means more than likely it'll be just as easy to get into yours if yours is unsecured. So make sure that you call us if you're if you don't know. Uh, we can obviously run some very quick control tests and see whether or not uh, those are secured or not. If they're not, we can lock them right up for you. That's great. The best thing about this is it'll keep your neighbors from leeching off of your network and accidental confusion between your network and your neighbor's network is if you pay good money for your networking equipment, you want to use it. 
you don't want anybody else using it. That's another good point also. Uh, we're talking about um, having other people accidentally or intentionally getting onto your network. Uh, there may be some people that for malicious purposes will do just that. Um, if, they, if someone wants to use a stolen credit card uh, to buy something over the internet, they may pull up in front of your unsecured network, put the credit card information into their browser, and then it can only come back to your IP address. Exactly. If someone is downloading music illegally, and the RIAA doesn't like that very much, pretty soon you'll see a little note come in the mail at your address, your physical address, because your Bell South or Comcast or whoever you use is going to find out and they're going to send a letter to you telling you a cease and desist order because your neighbor may have been leeching off of you. Or someone just driving up, uh, driving the car, just war driving. Yeah. If you have any questions about whether your wireless network is secure, just give us a call and we'll be happy to come by and check it out for you.